Hey, what's up guys? I know a lot of you went absolutely crazy over that video I posted on Facebook last week. Yo guys, I'm making this video to show you Growlify, our brand new plugin that's gonna be released July 13th, Friday the 13th, whatever you wanna call it. And this is what it sounds like. Now, we're gonna go ahead and turn on Growlify. Yeah, so that's just a small sneak peek of this awesome plugin, but if you want to get on the early access list, here is what you need to know. It closes tomorrow night. If you haven't already gotten on, you gotta click the link in the description below, and I'm gonna shoot you a text and an email as soon as the plugin drops, but even before anyone else knows about it. So basically, you're guaranteed the $200 worth of sample packs, drums, and courses for free, okay? So link is down below in the description. Anyway, today, we're gonna be sound designing this awesome screechy sound, and this is what it sounds like. Hey, what's going on Rocket Pirate Sound Designers? Welcome to the best channel on YouTube for Serum Tutorials. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be breaking down exactly how you can make this awesome sound because I hear it on both Dubstep Gutter and any other big EDM network. So let's just go ahead and jump right into the video here. First things first, we're gonna be starting off with a basic shape, but not the basic shapes waveform. Instead, we're gonna be using basic MCB, okay? So basically, this is just like a combination of a bunch of sounds just kind of morphed together in this weird way. All right, but here's what we're gonna be doing. Instead of just kind of getting the generic sound that we get when we use only basic shapes, we're gonna be using these uh, weird variations and we're gonna be com getting completely different results. So now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try on oscillator B because we are gonna be running frequency modulation on oscillator A from oscillator B. So go ahead and turn on our FM, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and drop the level down to zero so that way all the sound is processing through oscillator A. And basically, we just want to find a nice harmonic spot. I'm going to leave mine at around right there, but just remember, we can go back and change that later on. It just affects the overall tone of the sound. So now that we have that done, we're going to go ahead and start modulating it, okay? We're going to drop our level down to zero, and here we're just going to go ahead and create our first LFO shape. And it's actually our only LFO shape in the sound, which is pretty awesome. We're just going to go ahead and put it on trigger as well as 1 8. Okay, pretty cool. But now we want to add in a little bit of movement so it just doesn't sound as static like that. We're going to go ahead and turn on um, our LFO 1 onto the wave field position. Perfect, just like that. And guys, keep in mind, I accidentally had OTT compressor turned on and I just turned it off, so your sound might have sound a little bit different than mine leading up to this point. So anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and turn oscillator B to our basic shapes, okay? And we're just going to select this to a sawtooth waveform. Jump this up one octave. And now we can readjust the FM. 60% gives us a really nice, rich harmonic tone, and that's exactly what we're gonna be going for. Now, so now getting right into the filter, we're gonna go ahead and go into our multis. So the multis are all a collection of, um, uh, what do you say, combination of filters. So we got high band pass, high peak, high notch, okay? But today we're gonna be working with our band pass notch filter. So here we're controlling the notch, or I'm sorry, we're, con <laughs> we're controlling the band pass with the cutoff. So we're adjusting the band pass cutoff. And here with the frequency, we're just simply adjusting the notch, which is literally just an inverted peak that rides along the uh, EQ line. So go ahead and drop this down on the cutoff. And we're just gonna begin turning up the, um, the modulation here on LF LFO1 to create that. But what's really gonna start to get crazy is when we boost the resonance all the way to 100%. Okay, doesn't sound amazing, but stick with me. Now we're gonna turn up the drive. Okay, that takes away a little bit of that weird, like, whippy sound that we get from the resonance. And then we're also gonna turn up um, the frequency of the notch filter right to right here. So we're cutting out this, like, little mid-high end frequency which is gonna sound really good once we start to put in all the post-processing. So, speaking of post-processing, uh, well, basically, we could go ahead and get, jump right into the effects here and start everything off. First things first, we're gonna be turning on tube distortion and just blasting that all the way. And as you can hear, we just immediately got that tone that we are just really looking for, and that's what's creating the sound, really. It's just the distortion, all right? It's distorting the basic frequencies. 
And now that we got that in place, we're gonna go ahead and take our EQ. And you know, this is completely optional, but if you want a little bit of movement in the sound, you can go ahead and just modulate the uh, frequency a little bit. Perfect. And then also guys, we can go ahead and turn on our comp uh, compressor and select multiband. And that's just gonna even out the sound and just make everything sound so much better. Uh, by the way guys, yeah, we're basically making the sound sound a little bit more talking when we're modulating this peak frequency here. We're basically just creating a peak filter, but except we can visually see it with the EQ and then here, instead of using this filter. All right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and turn on our hyper slash dimension and uh, hyper settings, just turn that low and dimension, you know, very low size and a high mix of course. And that's literally just to boost the stereo width and increase the overall quality of the sound. And now we're just gonna finish off the entire sound with just two things that are not too common, but they will make a big difference. We can go ahead and take our flanger, turn up the rate, turn on the depth, and it makes it sound a lot more screechier, a lot more like laser-like. And then with the delay, we can go ahead and turn off BPM so you can turn on link. So we're working a very small area here and we're just gonna go ahead and modulate this backwards just to give it a little bit more extra movement. And then if you guys really wanna just clean up the sound, you can turn on an X for Records OTT. And then put on a channel EQ to just cut out the low end. And that my friends, is how we made this incredible screechy bass in just a couple minutes. So, really cool stuff here, guys. If you like this kind of video, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Or if you like this sound, go ahead and click that like button as well. Helps me out. But anyways, guys, without further ado, my name is Shane from Rocket Parrot Sound, and I will catch you guys in the next Serum Tutorial.